our Disney snacks? And what snack we're gonna hit first? Not yet. Well, I think it's time to talk about that. <laughs> I know the plan that I have in my head, sure. and the plan starts at Jolly Holiday, so that's. Well, Jolly Holiday first stop. Again, if you're just joining us, it will be the first stop. Oh yes. This is churro number one, specialty churro number one. Okay, next up we have the citrus, the orange citrus churro. Okay, next up we have the coffee and donut churro. Here's the situation. So we came to Disneyland for a 48 hour turn and burn. And then a couple days ago, Disney announced that today, November 10th, is the start of their holiday season. Uh, and they released their holiday foodie guide. So this just became a holiday food crawl. Um, I guess we're eating all weekend. But in other news, the treehouse is open. So we're going to go check it out after like, I don't know, it seemed like a hundred million zillion years of being shut down for the refurb. So, all right, let's do it. Okay. We're, we're eating. The food crawl has begun. We have a jungle julep from Bengal Barbecue. Bengal Barbecue. It's a white chocolate, white hot chocolate cookie frozen. Cookie butter dusted. Cookie butter drizzled. Dusted, cocoa dusted. with stuff. Has a pretzel rod. So. And it's sugar free and calorie free. No, it is not. <laughs> No, we don't like it? It's like a milky slurp. It's like a hot cocoa slurpee. I actually love this. Wait, I want to try one more thing. I don't like the texture. I don't think I need the dust stuff on top. I don't like the texture. It, it I, The texture's like if you spoiled milk and then recooled it again. It's, uh, I don't not like it. I also don't think I can like drink a whole lot. I think I can drink a whole lot. <laughs> of course. I'll have to Okay, next up, uh, the foodie guide said it was supposed to be a sugar plum churro over by the Haunted Mansion churro, churro cart, um, but it's actually a raspberry, a tart raspberry with marshmallow dipping sauce. Aiden has already claimed the first bite, so here we go. It is a tart. Is it really tart? <laughs> like, good tart? It's like a lot of powder. Okay, I'm going for the dip. That's really good. Oh, it's like legit marshmallow. Oh. My turn and I want marshmallow dip. Oh. It tastes like something, but like, I don't remember what. Yeah. Oh my God. It tastes like something that I liked, but I don't remember what. I love it. I want to try marshmallow dip. I love it. So good. So wow. two summers ago, they had a sour cherry churro, which is probably the best churro I've ever eaten in my life. This is very comparable to that. Yo, sour and tart churros, fruit churros are the way to go. It's out of 10. Okay, next up from the mint julep bar, we have the way back here. <laughs> huckleberry <laughs> mint julep and the seasonal Mickey beignets. They are peppermint or candy cane beignets. So I guess we'll start with what? this. Yeah. Tastes exactly like a regular mint julep. <laughs> yeah, there's There's blueberries in it though. That's what makes it it's unique. Like a, oh, I like it. It's like a little bit more berry. I like it. Now we've got to do the the beignet shake. shake. Properly coat them. It smells so good. Oh, cow. Mickey beignets. They smell like candy cane. The powder is candy cane. Mm. It's so hot. Warm. It's so good. It's like a faint, faint candy cane taste. I would choose a little bit more candy cane. These are good. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Okay, so we're at Jolly Holiday now, and we're having the turkey pot pie soup. Hey, then. This is so good. Is that good? And we have the Thanksmith sandwich, which is basically Thanksgiving dinner mm. in a sandwich. So we're going to have that. Mm. Oh, my God. Is it good? Yeah. I want a bite. Yeah. 
It's good. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we have the celebration potato. It's basically Thanksgiving dinner on a potato, so let's. I don't, like the, I don't like the cranberry sauce too, so I'm gonna take. What's this cream? Oh my god. Oh, the sour cream. Mmm. Is it good? I like the stuffing. Which crab? Stuffing's decent. Stuffing's good. Well, I really think the good. sandwich was better. It's really good considering that I don't like stuffing. I've also eaten way too much today already. Yeah. But it's okay. And I'll give it like a seven. The turkey's really good. I'll, I'll give it like, yeah, also a seven. I give it a seven. Seven. Okay. Seven. Okay. We have the mint. The mint chip, chip churro. churro. And the and yes. marshmallow mint dipping sauce. Mess. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. I knew I should have been excited for this one. That's that yummy. Was? I give it a nine. Okay. Yeah, I give it a nine. Okay. This is Christmas time popcorn. Popcorn, standard. Okay. Marshmallows. Marshmallows. MMs. Tastes like popcorn with lemon I still love that. I give it a 10. <laughs> this is the Dole Whip Christmas time sundae. It's strawberry and lime, supposedly. I love the lime. It's so cute and refreshing. That's good. 10 out of 10 just because it's a dole whip. I'm eight. eating so much food, but I don't even care and I'm going to eat more. That's just what's happening. Whatever. It is what it is. That's what we do here. That's what we do. Not a holiday drink, but it's a Tatooine sunset. And it's awesome. They're delicious. Drink. They're delicious. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Woody. <laughs> okay, uh, we're at California Adventure. First item on the agenda is the hot buttered rum. This is for adults. Adults only. Okay. Oh, yeah! Oh, that is so good. We're getting another one. A hundred out of ten. <laughs> No, thank you. Okay, we have a Togarashi Karage Chicken Slider. Oh, there's a pickle on it. It's okay. Six. It's like a five. It's a five for me. Bread. Yeah, it's not a good bread to meat ratio. This is the spiced pear mule. Oh, wow. I'm gonna like this. Mm. That is so good. That's like a 10. That's probably the spice syrup that you like. It's good. We're here with friends who don't want to be videoed, but they're <laughs> tasting. <laughs> okay, next up we have the toffee pretzel. It's a cream cheese filled pretzel with like toffee stuff on it. Oh, it's so warm. 
I don't really go to sleep. It's very sweet. Like the toffee is very sweet. I give it a nine. The cream cheese though, cream cheese stuffed pretzels are like awesome. Look at that. They're so good. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna give it like a seven out of ten because it's very sweet. Like very sweet. But other than that, good stuff. Okay, and we have the Alien Santa macaron. Oh, I just busted him. His good ears. Job. I busted his ear a little bit, you but look, look so how cute, cute he is. It's like a chocolate cream on the inside. Oh my god, it's so fragile. I'm busting him all over the place. Can you eat the eyes? No, of course you can. Mmm. Wow. I don't hate it. It's good. I, I don't hate it. I'm not a big fan of macarons. So the raspberry macaron is my all-time favorite snack ever in Disneyland. So it's hard to compare it. This one's a little messy, like I have chocolate fingers. But it's good. I'm gonna go back to the pretzel. It's good, I like the chocolate inside. <laughs> okay, so ultimately we wound up with a uh, wish list to try 45 items from their holiday foodie guide. We were able to successfully try 15 of them, which isn't bad for a 48 hour kind of quick trip that also included like a dinner out um, and uh, an evening at the bar with some apps at the new Palm Breeze bar. So not terribly bad in my opinion. I think we're getting pretty good at this 48 hour turn and burn slash food crawl and maybe we'll do it again. Definitely we'll do it again. What are you having for breakfast? Popcorn. <laughs> Is it a healthy breakfast? No. Nope. <laughs> Disney healthy. <laughs>